The guys are back from the toilet. And now, back to our show. The Opie and Anthony Show. Want to welcome Tom Papa to the studio. Yes. Good morning. It seemed like yesterday, because I think it was yesterday, that oh. he was saying goodbye to everybody because he was moving to L.A. <laughs> Hollywood Tom Papa. And then he's back already. Yeah. We well, don't even miss you yet. <laughs> cr- cr- crawling back with your tail between your legs, huh? It's, it's like it like kicked your ass, didn't it, Looks Tom? like it didn't work out for yeah, you out there. It's not, it's not working out like I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> A little homesick, are you? <laughs> Think that things just aren't uh, developing as quickly as I had hoped. <laughs> oh he got off. He got off the bus, some hustler, <laughs> bought him some breakfast. Yeah. You're Tom right. was getting close on the bus. He's like, yeah, that's radio coming from New York City right there. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, he's on fucking 42nd Street with a cowboy hat. <laughs> some guy's blowing him and vomiting afterwards. It's, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> You say you'll get me back on the radio, right, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, they're laughing at you on 42nd Street. That's for facts. That cowboy shit. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Yes. Yeah, yes. it's not well, working out. Not like working I, out. No, you really gave it a good shot, though. It was a good try. A good week and a half. <laughs> a week and a half. <laughs> we, said goodbye. we said goodbye a week and a half ago. Uh, if you don't make it in a week and a half. Fuck. How long am I supposed to do it? Yeah, really. You can't spend your whole life trying to uh, do that. L.A., huh? You got a nice yeah. place out there? Yeah, I've had the place for a long time. It's nice. We have a little swimming pool the oh, kids enjoy. Oh, that's good. And uh, they go swimming. That's good. It beats the, uh, just, you know, kids in an apartment in New York. It's got to be a little crazy. Yeah, right? they were just, the little one was just like. Bouncing off the walls. Why yeah. are we here? Oh, man. Seriously, don't we have a place with my my bike and a hula hoop and <laughs> don't we have those things that we didn't sell that place did we uh, I'm like no but do, do people, don't you love new york she's like i'm swimming in a fountain <laughs> <laughs> your kids get a raw deal living in new york city man no yeah. outdoor space no it's pretty... you gotta find a little space outside with other people that maybe it could be your private little area for uh, 10 minutes before some asshole homeless guy decides <laughs> he has to take a shit I think the trade-off is they're fucking street smart and wise at like eight. I, I guess. That's true. They're like, like, you know, New York City kids, are they're very yeah, wise. They're yeah. Much, yeah, when we went back out, my 11-year-old, <laughs> mm. who is not as active, who likes to like, go check out shows and do that kind of thing, she came back to L.A. and was like, my friends here seem so simple. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's, they're so excited about trampolines. I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, the cultured eleven-year-old. Yeah, I knew that. I knew it was time to do something different. We we're in Jersey, my brother's place, barely in the woods, <laughs> and we're getting in the car after a little birthday party, and he hears crickets, and he goes, "Daddy, what's that?" Oh no! I'm like, you know what? Maybe we should. I'm like, maybe we should do something a little fucking different. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Oh man. Yeah, but their cousins in New Jersey are going to be covered with Lyme disease. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be going to IMAX and seeing all the cool 3D stuff. You don't need to go into the woods. Fuck, so. Oh, oh what was, was that, geez, Jimmy? I mean, Tom just tore these things up, and I had to knock them on the floor. Oh, that's not oh. nice. <laughs> So you're. Uh, Did I mention I'm from Hollywood? Jimmy? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you're dressing now like you're, Hollywood. So you're, well, you've had, I actually you're dressing uh, nice there, Tom. Yeah. yeah well, I have a uh, big audition this morning. I can't really talk about it because oh. it's uh, top secret. Wow. It's for an HBO show called Veep with Julia oh. Louis oh. <laughs> And <laughs> as soon as I got to LA, I'm not kidding. As soon as I got to LA, they sent me an email about, "Will you come and audition for Veep in New York?" And I said, oh, "I'm man. in Hollywood now." And they said, "We're not seeing people from there." Oh man! Wow! I'm like, wait, I moved here so I could be on more television and film. And yeah, they're like, now we're only looking at people in New York. <laughs> wait, you going in for the audition? So now that I'm here, I said, can I go in? And they said, yeah, you can. So after this, I will be reading two scenes Whoa. for Veep. Oh, 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 nice. Looking to play knock wood, guys. Knock good. Yes. Knock wood. Yeah, knock, knock. Not good. Not, not good. <laughs> not good, guys. Yeah. Not good. Are you looking to play the president in Veep? I would love to play the president, but no. Mm. I'm playing some advisor and some Chris Matthews type guy. Oh, in oh another MSNBC. Scene. Are you off book? Yeah. 
I am far from off book. I got it last night before we did the radio show. Jimmy was very great in the radio show last night. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I have not had time to even read it. Oh, boy. Roland is printing it out right now. How do you deal with that? I just read I it. I just, oh. Yeah? I mean, <laughs> go ahead. But how do they know from just I know you if reading you're, it? if you're good or not. Right. You're just reading off a of paper. They don't know. Really, all they want to know... They could really just Skype you in. I should just take a picture on my iPhone and send it. I'm like, this is what I look Here's like this me. week. And do you want the guy that looks like this or not? <laughs> is that you pretty know, legit? Yeah, we've all done stuff. You know, we all have been acting. We've done things. This is what I look like now. That's all they want to know. Did yeah, he gain yeah. weight? Has he lost his hair? <laughs> That's so pretty you have to, Yeah, you have to whore your ass all the way to 38th Street just to walk in and be like, hey. Hey, it's oh, me. Hey, it's it's me. me. How uh, tall are you? Uh, 5'10". Uh, um, much taller than Julie Louis And then you Louis take Stripes. the paper and you're like, uh, uh, <clears throat> um. So, so I think <laughs> right. Are you five ten? <laughs> I'm five ten and a half. Damn, Tom. That's a good height for a man. Oh. I'm Thank just you. saying it is. You're it's pretty right good. There. I always wanted to be six there. foot. I'm a fucking two. Who doesn't want to be six foot? <laughs> how tall right? yeah, six foot sounds cool. Yeah. yeah, how tall? Yeah, six one. Six one's a good height for a fucking oh, man. Yeah. man yeah. Five six and a half, I have to say. Oh, <laughs> that's oh, dainty. You have to add the half. Just that's bump horrible. it up to five seven. That's I've dainty. tried. Just yeah. go five seven. My tried. fucking cunty ex girlfriend would always correct me, like when she would put fucking <laughs> like when she put fucking candy up on the top shelf, and I found it a year and a half after we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, when I was short, and I heard that the Fonz was five seven. Oh yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's okay. You can be. He seems. So big, you could be cool. Yeah, you could be cool. As a short guy. Yeah, it'll the be Fonz right. did seem very tall. Yeah, it's a whole attitude. Hey. Cool. hey, hey, remember the Fonzie doll where you press the little thing on the back <laughs> and the thumbs would go up? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and the song was Fonzie, Fonzie, the Fonz. Could you oh, find that, God. Sam? Find the Fonzie doll commercial. That's There's no way. Now I got to no say way. He had a, a fucking a Fonzie doll commercial. Yeah, there was. He had a fucking oh, yeah, thing in his back, dude. It was like a little lever. Everything's I, on the internet. And you you pull it down, and his thumbs would go up. <laughs> oh my Fonzie, God. Fonzie, oh. the Fonz. Hey, hey. I loved the Fonz. Did I you? love yes, the Fonz. Yes, I did. Uh, he was the cool when he would have meetings in the bathroom. I like exactly. the early Fonz in the early episodes before they started filming in front of a live audience. It was done on film, and he was just kind of cooler. And he was in a white jacket. He didn't even have yeah, a leather jacket. Yeah, he didn't jacket. even have a leather jacket. Well, and, and his advice was just kind of, hey, well, do what you want to do. <laughs> uh, it was just very calm. And then he just became a cartoon character with magical powers. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? This is the motorcycle hey. toy commercial. Oh, we Fonzie can start motorcycle? here at least. Oh, yeah. Fonzie. Let me see it, Sam. It's the Fonzie motorcycle, and here's Fonzie. Each sold separately. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up, yeah, <laughs> thumbs up. On, and it takes off. What? It's oh, barely moving. Action sends it back. Battery for cycle not included. He's cool. <laughs> 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 Yay! That looks like the <laughs> worst toy <laughs> ever. <laughs> I hate it. It's terrible. Oh, is that the awful? The fuck would you do with that? He goes back and forth. I, my favorite, though, there's one scene where they hit the motorcycle and the kid swings his arms up in a circle. Yes. Oh, I fucking He's hit. very thrilled. Oh, he's probably God. 50 right now, and I hope he's rotting away of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. The, the kid was dressed like Fonzie. He had some jeans on and a t shirt. Right, his hey, hair hey, slicked hey, back hey, a little bit. And he put his thumbs up and went, hey. 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 It's the thumbs worst up Fonzie. action. Yes, the thumbs up action. We've had the Fonz in here, Tom Pop. Oh, yeah. you have? Oh, yeah. A couple cool times now. Uh, television icon. Icon. Nicest yes. man alive. They really didn't even know marketing back then. <laughs> just, it was no. shot so bad and just, Fonzie. It really Fonzie. was a horrible spot. <laughs> no, I've the been kids are having a lot fun. Of, I've been watching a lot of old commercials. Have you? On, uh, on the intratubes. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's man. kind of funny to kind of really kind of get a... a a gauge on where you were back then. <laughs> right. It's a strange thing. But you realize how badly the commercials were. Like now, every commercial, every second of it is assessed. You know that they're like, right. all right, in this second we need to show this, that. It just seemed like they didn't know what the... 
Just what, roll what it. consumers needed to see no editing. to buy the product back then. <laughs> no like, editing. We it's watched a that dumb motorcycle go back and forth four times across Fonzie, a fucking the voice, room. the voiceover, the music was terrible. Like they were just done so badly. Just give me give me three kids in tight shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll show the thumbs up action and show this motorcycle. Like I was psyched for the motorcycle until I saw it working. Right. right exactly. And watch it take off. It it moved so slow. And just started bouncing around. It's the Fonzie motorcycle. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Here's Fonzie. Eat soul pepper. Hey! hey. <laughs> Thumbs up action. Thumbs up action. Watch the kids' arms. Watch. And it takes off. <laughs> Whee! Uh, out action. It only back. goes three feet before it that turns around. And it turns around. It's so awkward. Exactly. Fonzie. Woo! Fonzie. Ow! Hey, Fonzie. It's, Fonzie. it's shot like the kid's like just in the lower half of the yeah, screen. Yeah, he wasn't even centered. The kid wasn't even in frame. What fucking douchebags. I love those kids. Oh. He'd wave his arms for Fonzie. Yay. Oh, Uncle Paul. Spin him in a circle. Would you teach him about thumbs up action? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I'd be like, let me grab your magic lever and tug on it. Your thumbs go up in the air. Oh, God. Yay. Yay. I'm friends with Fonzie. What was uh. the G.I. Joe stuff like because we were heavily addicted yeah. to that. Those spots must Where's have been really guy? crazy. Yeah, yeah. Where did uh, Sam go? I don't know. Let's, we're, we're, uh, let's find we're, a G.I. Joe a, commercial. Com we're doing a, a break on um, yeah. as Tom eats what? fruit and drinks coffee. Oh, yes. fuck. Enjoy that later in the bathroom. <laughs> exactly. Do you wow. feel like a cannibal when you eat that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. Wow. What, what uh, do you, does that mean? That was a nice. What are you trying to say? Uh, <laughs> find some old G.I. Joe commercials. Not those crappy ones that you grew up with. Yeah. I'm talking the full sized. Like what? From the Joe. 70s? From uh, the 60s and 70s. I was a child of the 80s, so. Well, me too, but. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're children <laughs> of the 80s, Tom. Classic G.I. Joe. Yeah, we are. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, this one's from like the 80s, I think. 70s. And here is G.I. Joe with Kung Fu Grip. Kung Fu Grip. G.I. Joe has hands that grip. Oh, oh there's two kids laying in the grass. Yeah. Hands that hold on with a Kung you can't do anything with this. There's no medallion. They're just shaking hands. Yeah, and then they tug back gently, and then one flips the other one into the grass. <laughs> this stinks. That was awful. That was terrible, yes. too. Yes. <laughs> Kung Fu Grip. G.I. Joe with prostatitis was more exciting <laughs> than Kung Fu Grip. <laughs> oh, this is an old one, it looks like. From the 60s. Yeah. 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 G.I. Joe. Whoa. You'll be killing the nips. <laughs> when you, like, they don't even care about political correctness back then. Yeah. yeah, getting those gooks. G.I. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, G.I. Joe, fighting man from head to toe. I think that was it. I'll right? get you into Cambodia. <laughs> G.I. Joe, oh, G.I. Joe, fighting man from head to toe, on the land, on the sea, in the air. Uh, G.I. Joe, attack! Go, go! Uh, G.I. Joe, get it's like a Twilight Zone episode. Terrific equipment. This kid would be on Ritalin now. <laughs> when you get G.I. Joe and the authentic G.I. Joe equipment, you'll have the well, first of all, you'd be uh, taken into counseling you if you ever went had. to school Soldiers. with one of these. Silence. Box box of authentic uniforms and equipment so you can change your G.I. Joe soldier oh, I remember into doing a that. camouflage marine ready for battle. It's got a, a flamethrower and a with fucking blasted into the jet cave. Yeah. An Air Force <laughs> pilot with high-altitude helmet and air vest. I get G.I. Joe and get G.I. Joe equipment. Just so war. It's all, it's all battle war. Action yeah. Whenever you want. Yes. Remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. Whoa. Only oh, G.I. Wow. Joe wow. G.I. Wow. Joe. That's a great slogan right there. Yeah, well, they had another one. It was J.O. <laughs> Jew. <laughs> and it was Rich Voss. <laughs> that's what he is. Going out on a limb on that one. Wow. Whoa, that, was, uh, a little edgy. that was pretty good right there. Remember. Can you imagine if a kid came in with... Fake knives, guns, oh my military God. stuff. Oh, they would be in. He would be locked up and put on Ritalin yeah. immediately. That's the '90s. Screw yeah. that. Yeah. That's so the stupid. '90s. That's I like old G.I. Joe. Yeah, da, 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 yeah, da, da, da. <laughs> your father smokes, your mother drinks. Yeah, da, da, da. <laughs> find a uh, find the old um, uh, um, like machine gun, toy machine gun. 
'60s, '70s commercial of toy machine guns. <laughs> I've read it that because they were great. Uh, you could not get away. Yeah, that top one's a good one. You really do watch these old commercials, oh, yeah. huh? <laughs> They're dressed like bad guys. Yeah, just like gangsters. Like in the '40s. And there's a crook like breaking into the house with a gun. Oh, black and white. It's also got a fucking. Oh, wow. Some fun when Snubby Gun plays Private Eye, and you can have the same. He's dressed like I am for my audition. Tommy Burst detective set. <laughs> but Tommy Burst has automatic. Look at this kid. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck. He's got a machine gun. He's got a machine gun. <laughs> That's right. Watch your classmates cower in fear and hide under the desks and run into the closet. Three dollars. Three dollars. Look, he's got a little shoulder holster. Yes, in case it jams and the social studies teacher tries to save them. Oh my god. Real smoke comes out. Safe shooting shells. Could you imagine these days? Oh my god. Whole thing seven, is seven bucks, bucks for the whole thing. It's well. See, Sam, it's that's well. what we used to play with. <laughs> oh, we got cow. Not and it didn't affect me adversely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I have eight hundred guns in a yes, locked, and you're dressed like GI Joe. And I'm dressed like GI. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're right. I am. Oh, GI ant. GI ant. GI ant. Man from head to douche. <laughs> <laughs> oh, find another uh, machine oh, gun. My one. God. What is what is that little? Uh, there you go. That yeah, one looks that good. one looks good too. Tommy gun. It's another one. This is amazing. <laughs> Broken the sound barrier. It's oh. the Mattel Thunderbird with the real vibrasonic wow. sound chamber that's loaded forever and ever. No batteries, no caps. That Thunderbird looks like real, sounds like real. <laughs> <laughs> it vibrates like real. It's safe to play with. Just flip up the sight, pull back the bolt, and fire. <laughs> oh my God. I love this. I want one. Tell Tommy Buck to your gun collection. Oh, it's, it's like a little caps with smoking bursts or single shots. <laughs> I love it. Grain feel. Easy to load. What were moms thinking when kids were running through the kitchen with this? Yeah. Or turn the crank for smoking bursts. The nice. Tommy Burp is really for real, right down to the adjustable flip sight. The Tommy Burp is two fifty. Two fifty. No cap Thunder Burp is three dollars. Three bucks. <laughs> That's I right. I could buy a hundred of them. Yeah, fake blood for your classmates' foreheads, cheeks, and chests. A dollar seventy-two. That's right. Grief counsel is not included. <laughs> <laughs> we we used to play uh, we used to play war uh, with all the neighborhood kids and you you like buy those guns you'd get them for Christmas and whatnot and run around your neighborhood yeah fucking going bam bam and hiding in the bushes and right. coming out like now the bam, bam. we spotted a child with a gun in the bushes sent out SWAT and uh, the state troopers so we need two helicopters. It's just my Tommy Burp. Yeah, it's my, <laughs> my Tommy, Tommy Burp. burp. <laughs> uh, and the boy was killed. It was found later. He was holding a Tommy Burp. It's true. I saw a kid at the uh, bus stop in L.A. I'm in my car, and he's just running back and forth. He was probably 14. And he looked like spazzy. He was just running back and forth. I'm like, what is this guy up to? And he had a bag like down on the ground. I'm like, what's in that bag? And then he started making uh, machine gun hands, oh, just with his shit. hands, and going at traffic like this. And I really... He was like, somebody's got to call someone. <laughs> yeah. All he had was hands. Just I'm like, hands. This kid is going to kill us all. This kid's a problem. <laughs> not, not, yeah. like, uh, not like the old days, man. It's your Tommy Burp. Tommy Burp. They, well, they, they, were, they were like uh, machine guns back in the, in the day with like tripod, bipods. And you, now amazing. think about that, though. Like Think about how effective that awful, awful advertising was, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was lame, and we were completely, like, addicted. Sure. And you had to have all that stuff. Yeah. And now with it being... And there was... Vi and the violence was really pretty low. Yep. Now with it being so sophisticated, there's got to be something to what it's going to do to these kids, right? Y you, you would think... I mean, we know what it did to that generation and right. stuff. I mean, and, and was it... Did it promote violence and gun violence and and all that? I, it's. I mean, look, it it has an effect. They wouldn't spend all this money on it if it and and right. It just got so sophisticated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now it's, it's Call of Duty commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. that's true. Because they've taken 
pretty much all these off the market. You don't see toy right. guns no. on, on TV or even in stores in anymore. Stores. They've distorted them to the point where now they are they look all goofy and Nerf-y. they're multicolored. Nerf-y. And Nerf-y. Things like that. They can't look like a real gun. Right. Uh, so they've taken that off. But, yeah. When you, you make you a real Nerf gun, Duty. though, just to kind of blend in. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a guy. real gun that looks all, all Nerf-y. Nerf-y. <laughs> Call it Nerf-y. The cops look and then they go, ah, it's just ah, one of those nerf guns. It's just that. He's just a guy that dresses up like a clown and right. goes around. Wailing out fucking 2,000 rounds a minute. <laughs> We've come a long way because on Fox, there's a kid in trouble. He's nine years old for having a hugging contest at a school. Oh, I told him to contest. shut up about that. <laughs> Jesus, Uncle Paul. God damn it. He decided to have a hugging contest, and now uh, he's in deep trouble. And, yeah. now, and look what we were just looking at. Hugging contest. Yeah, just a dumb hug. He decided. He's... And and we used to, like, after Christmas, you'd get your, your presents and stuff, and then you'd bring some into school Fuck yeah. after yeah. Christmas vacation. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, look, I got this and that. And you could walk around. With toy guns in school. <laughs> in school. <laughs> it was crazy. Is there one more um, well, gun gun uh, sure. commercial? Because I really am enjoying those. I wonder if you, because you had guns you could act out with that were safe, if that kind of helps in a way. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know, right? Right? I, I don't know. Let's see what this one is. Oh, boy. One day a few weeks ago, I looked all over the house for Billy. Of course, I found out later that my son Three was step. in darkest Africa. Uh oh. Billy was hunting elephants with oh. his trusty Mattel That's toy what they back gun. Then. <laughs> That's the only fully automatic yes. cap gun in the world, you know. Fully Real off. safe. Fires one shot or in burst. Oh, no. Damn. He, rocked. he never misses <laughs> with that <perfect>. <laughs> Wow, that thing's cool. <laughs> Where they just go backwards. <laughs> Obviously. And it's so simple to play with. Is it? The safety catch keeps it from firing while Billy winds it. <laughs> then he closes the breech uh-huh. and checks his ammunition. <laughs> There's plenty of room for spare caps in the magazine. He's off again, hunting tigers in India. But don't worry. The burp gun's so safe, it's got the parent seal of approval. <laughs> Only $4 wherever Four toys are sold. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. It's true. Oh. <laughs> and, and obviously, it was swell. okay to shoot elephants. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You would never have a commercial where a kid's where shooting elephants. Killing elephants. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. They had a big yeah. screen of elephants <laughs> running and him <laughs> shooting them. Yes. And look, and, and, and to go with the burp gun, try the new hook for the elephant's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to teach that elephant to behave. Uh, One slice, you can remove the tusks and send them to China. uh, Yes, make trinkets from this regal animal. Maybe a uh, maybe a Western gun. Well, uh, we're getting a lot of requests. Someone's saying you got to look up the EnterTech water machine guns. Carve his feet into ashtrays. Yes, have a laugh at the expense of the beast you've slaughtered. A real hunk of ivory included with each. <laughs> yes. Yeah, really? Leave his rotting carcass for the buzzards <laughs> while you sell his life fucking saving tusks for a dollar eighty. Don't look now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't look now. Here comes a poacher. <laughs> yeah. Shoot him in the face. And then he's off to India <laughs> killing the last yes. 28 tigers. <laughs> look, it's an African man with a machine gun and no shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh, shit! Was, uh, uh, which one is this? The uh, yeah, it's a request. Let's uh, see. It's a, all right. Yeah, this looks new. It's in color. color. I think these are the guns that they used in the movie Airheads. Oh, in living color. The feel, the sound, the real. The AK Centerfire automatic water weapon, batteries not included, with up to 30 feet of firing power. Oh, An extra badass. clip for reloading, a shoulder strap for moving out. There's also the M16 rifle, the sidekick pistol, the RPG rocket water <laughs> weapon. <laughs> the AK Centerfire. The look, the feel, the sound, so real. That's pretty cool. That's like 80s, right? Yeah, yeah, that was, that the was 80s. 80s. Probably the 80s. I'm That's sure good, there were some complaints about that one. <laughs> it's starting yeah. to roll in. Not like the old one. The old ones were like, ah, that's not violent enough. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> they need some shoot elephants. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, shooting elephants. See if you can have him aiming that uh, burp gun at the Negro family moving in next door. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is one of the Western ones. Yeah. Oh. Winchester, the rifle that won the West. Yes. <laughs> won the West. Killing Indians. Two Winchester rifles. 
Both mm -hmm. faithful replicas of the famous original. Oh. This is the cap firing saddle gun. Nice lever action. It loads just like the real one. Wow. Ooh. Even ejects the shells. Cool. I would so have that. He's running with a little cowboy outfit on. Yeah. <laughs> a He's behind a rock shooting at the indigenous people of America. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. People who are living off the land. Minding <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> their own business. Exactly. And look, some, some sugar that looks like anthrax to put in a blanket. <laughs> yeah, they're not oh. really showing what the shooting app, but we all know. We all know. Yeah. We all know. Yeah. Someone yes. darker than you. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. His skin has been stained by darkness. You must kill him. <laughs> oh, fucking A. What the hell happened? Like... <laughs> Don't let their quiet ways <laughs> fool you. They're not peaceful. Yes. <laughs> Good boy, Billy. You've shot the savage. Anyone who lives in a triangle house deserves to be murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Click, kill them before they kill you with their peaceful ways. Yes. They're offering you a pipe. You must put bullets in them. <laughs> Rape their women and name football teams after them. And then wonder why they hate you. <laughs> <laughs> then your ancestors will lose everything in one of their casinos. <laughs> Whiskey bottle to trade sold separately. <laughs> Look, a shiny trinket to show the savage. <laughs> Complete set, two seventy-five. <laughs> right, very inexpensive back then. Oh God! I, uh, it, is there it any is, other ones? It is very odd. I do remember mm. some <laughs> of these growing up, like like very. The black uh -oh. and white ones, like when I was like, uh -oh, the you remember kid. the times they're portraying? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, the swivel uh, holster. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, shit. Okay, cut. Print oh, it. print that's it. Great, Maddie. That's the fastest draw I've ever seen in all my years of making weapons. Yeah. What? That Mattel swivel shot trick holster can beat the fastest draw, can it, Maddie? Let's see how you do that again. Take your pants off, Maddie. <laughs> It has the Mattel bullet loading banner. Whoa, this kid's spinning a gun like a madman. Is that a young little African American child? Yeah, almost. No, he's holding the gun properly. I can't tell. Uh, he's not holding the sideways. Kind of a Sam. Yes, Whoa! Kids, you can be fast too with a Mattel swivel shot. It's that? Six bucks. Six bucks. What a ripoff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is a leather host. I could get two of the fucking burp guns. Exactly. <laughs> Four dollars. And remember, you can tell it's Mattel. It's well. Ah, ah yes. That's right. I thought it was going to be. You can tell it's Mattel because Mattel. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't good with their slogans. Because no, 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 no. it says Mattel yes. on the box. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you can tell it's Mattel by the M. <laughs> Not to be confused by the N, who you never want to bring home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, fucking different times, man. Crazy Good shit. Lord. Every yeah. kid wanted a toy gun, though. And, and like, I don't remember much protest from the parents. No. No. They would, they would, like, every kid on the block had some toy guns in their house. I do remember my mother saying, we won't have guns in the house. Really? Like, at a certain point. Yeah, and it, it must be. Oh man, it had been coming a thing at that point. You like, were that kid on the block. Oh <laughs> boy, could I borrow a gun so I could play army with you guys? Bah, <laughs> you mom. <laughs> yeah, you're a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> What's this under your bed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having a good uh, good toy good gun time. around the but house. Mom, there's an Indian family across the street. <laughs> oh, okay. They're All not right. those kind of Indians. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the, the whole psychological thing. Of everything, I don't though, know. It was a different everything. time. I, mean, I don't know. Was it? You won the West. Yeah. No discussion from who you who you took it from. No, no. How you won Killing it? Killing the animals, shooting yes. each other, pure violence, war. loving war. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not that long ago. No, and not it completely at all. everything about that would be wrong. Everything would be processed. Yeah. So bad. Yeah. Like like looked at not even looked at like, oh well, we don't do that anymore. It would be looked at like, oh my god, are you crazy? Like psychopaths are making Right. Like we the kid if the, a child wanted that, 
he'd need counseling. Oh, yeah. Like, no. that's what that's mm-hmm. the place we're at now. Oh, God, that looks fun. I want a toy gun, Mommy. Ah! <laughs> I got the shrink. What did he say? Yeah, school counselor. Well, he's not allowed back in school as long as he... You know, <laughs> yeah, and then you got to reprogram the kid to not want it. Yeah. It, it's just... Uh, I don't, it's I don't know. It's pretty wild. Is it, is, it, is it better or worse? It's just different. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, the is violence it, is much worse now. I, it, it seems to be. That's a reaction to the violence. Yeah, but though. maybe it's not. Maybe the violence isn't worse. Was it crazy? You think it was, I maybe it's it bad back then. Well, maybe it's just reported more. There was no I guess if you're, back then, though. I, I don't know. I if don't you're know a black kid, is. you would say, right, no, right. the violence was worse back then, I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 it was uniformly okay to beat my ass in, on the way to school. Get the fire hose and German shepherd kit. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Three dollars. <laughs> right. Exactly. I think That's it might have right. been worse. Yeah. It might have been a little worse. Yes. We only had one news channel, so. Uh, yeah. I think it's just reported more. I think it's actually getting better. The dog that won yeah. Watts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Break out that fire hose, Johnny. Yes. <laughs> look, he's trying to vote. Yes. <laughs> Don't Pre- look now. He's hitting on your girl. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at the little box switch for the dog. Woof, 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 woof. Watch him cower in fear. <laughs> Press, yeah, move his tail and see his jaws move. Yes. <laughs> Uh, wonderful. Da, da, da. Yes, blackface for your friends and sold separately. <laughs> uh, the good old days. Yes, yes, that's what I call them. And with that, we do have to take a break. We got we uh, a little catching up to do. Yeah. Tom Papa, back in New York. Are you promoting uh, anything else, Tom? Uh, no, I'm heading to Cleveland. Hilarities Cleveland. is my next one on the road. Oh, nice. Yep, right into the beginning of September. So, uh, Come out and see me in Cleveland. Just go to TomPapa.com Tom for all great. my dates. He's great. Nice. Uh, Jim's big comedy special. We haven't mentioned yeah. it once yet today. Oh, oh man. man. It's coming out Come this on. Friday. Friday. Friday on Epix. 10 yes. o'clock. EpixHD.com. If you don't get Epix yeah. on your TV, it's called American Degenerate. It's an amazing special. Thank you. And the open, in, uh, the open is great. Thank you. And the open is on our Facebook page if you want to check it out before yeah. the special this Friday. All right? Cool, cool. American Degenerate. I love that title. <laughs> Thank you. And also, yeah. Patrice O'Neill's latest album is yeah. out there. Yeah. For digital downloads, it's called Unreleased. And then uh, our uh, 15th podcast is available. Yeah! We, we went with Amazing. Mondo Topless this week. Oh, wow. Mondo so Topless. The Opie and Anthony podcast number 15. All right. Sweet. The Opie and Anthony Show. Sirius XM.